Okay. Set the date first lah. Today is the August 15, 2015 time, 12 noon. Okay, this poodle is a female spade, 4 years old. First time has skin problems, right? Dry skin so according bad, to the yeah. owner. Uh, according to her, there are a lot of scales. Uh, and uh, it's about for 2 months. Is it very itchy? Definitely. Sometimes I, I use the cone around her so that she doesn't... Mm. Now, so from what I can see from the from the the rashes here, this is called generalized pustular dermatitis. This condition, now generalized means all over the body. Pustular means you got pimple here. Dermatitis means skin infection. Uh. Now, as what to the cause? It usually is bacteria. Uh, usually, uh, but uh, it could be others like uh, yeast. Now the coat is dry, according to the owner. It could be the harsh shampoo also, or it could be due to the fact that this dog was new, that was spit early on, and uh, so that uh, she has not not enough female hormones, uh, which maintains the coat. But you can see actually there are a lot of rashes. Uh. Mm. Yeah, I don't know if mm. you can see uh. Uh, a lot of rashes. Now, of course, we check the ears also. Now, the ears. Interesting thing about this year is that a uh, hole that it seems to be quite crusty. Uh. But the owner might have been treating it with some antimite. Did you yep, treat antimite? Yep, yep, I did. What do you use? The cream. That. Uh, so, she, so it's not obvious about this scabies thing, but uh, but uh, there might be some uh, scales uh, which we shave off, then we know. Now, scabies can be widespread also. Yeah, it's not so painful because the owner uses uh, the cream already. Now, overall, the dog appetite is good. Oh, yes. How good is good? Very good. Good. Every time I mean the amount I feed her, she's going to gobble when she feeds very fast. Are you sure? Is she on drugs? No. No. Drink a lot. Well, after every feed, she will drink. I can see uh, there. <laughs> There's rashes here, there. a lot of scales. So I never bring her out to grass, but she actually grass patches. So it could be a multiple infection of bacteria, fungus, and mites. Huh? It's hard to, to, to tell because the dog is on medical shampoo, right? Is it on medical shampoo? Uh, no, not, not at the moment. It's those uh, recommended by the groomer. Mm. I have tried old shampoo and this conditioner for her. Managed to be dry skin. Yeah, so uh. down, huh? Ready? One, two, three. Okay, now we check the armpits. Uh. I see just zoom, can you don't need to really put, put near to the dog's face. Uh. Then how to zoom there. Uh. Yeah, I see a lot of so uh, even here. Mm. So what, what dog food you're feeding now? Is it a dry one? Dry one, pellets. Is it, is it a new brand or is it so? No, actually I recently just changed because of a condition I thought, you know, the groomer told me to, mm. to try to give mm. her that particular one. For a change. What's the brand? Yeah, I show you. But uh, before that, also, also already a scales. Yeah. So the interesting thing about this case is that there's a lot of scales, but there's no hair loss. There's no hair loss. This one I'm giving her right now. Uh, yeah, this is the skin sensitive coat. Mm -hmm. uh. I just started on her on this actually, because of a condition I changed to this. Okay, okay. So is, is this okay? We don't know. We don't know whether it's a cause by uh, dog food allergy. Uh. So no, I mean, this one I just started. It was already yeah, she has got. 